Good morning, guys. We are going to continue our unit on um, water habitats, and we are going to look at some freshwater and saltwater fish today. And as we read the book, What Is It Like to Be a Fish? This is by Wendy Pfeiffer and illustrated by Holly Keller. So, lake white fish, these are some fish that are found in lakes. So you have a lake white fish, common shiners, smallmouth buffalo, a coho salmon, and these are fish that live in waters in lakes or ponds. You have a lake white fish and a grass pickler fish. Common goldfish variety, a bleeding heart, Tetra, a faint tail goldfish, angelfish, and hatchfish. These are fish that would live in an aquarium. And even some goldfish can live in plastic bags. Your pet goldfish can live in a bowl. You can watch the golden fish slip over and under a castle and hide among the water plants and glide quietly around the underwater world. So this is a calico goldfish. Here are common goldfish in this small tank right here. And then over here you have another common goldfish and a common goldfish variety that has speckles on them. Has anyone had a goldfish? We've had goldfish. Our goldfish did not live very long. But I had a friend growing up and she had a goldfish that lived for five years. It was really big. I was very impressed. So a fish's body is just right for living underwater. Just as your body is right for living on land, you can swim, but a fish can swim better. A fish's sleek body is perfect shape for swimming. Fins stick out from the fish's body. They help the fish to swim. A goldfish's tail fin pushes it through the water. Six other fins steady, steer, and stop it. So here's kind of like the fin. You have the um, caudal, which is the tail fin, the dorsal fin, and the anal fin, the pelvic fins, and the pectoral fins. So this is a common goldfish, and those are its fins, and all of them work together to help the fish swim. Most fish have skin that is covered with scales. Scales help the fish to swim, too. Scales are hard and clear. They overlap like shingles on a roof. The smooth, slick scales let the fish slide easily through the water. A clear slime covers the scales, and it helps the fish glide through the water, too. Scales, scales and slime also help to keep the fish healthy. The stiff scales protect the fish's delicate skin from cuts and scrapes. Many germs in the water get stuck in a fish's slime coating and are washed away before they can make the fish sick. Both scales and slime keep the water from seeping into the fish's skin. So here is an aerotel goldfish, and you can see the scales really well in that, and they're covered with slime. And then here's a common shriner down here. Common shiner, excuse me. When fish swim, they swing their tail fins back and forth and wave their other fins. They look as if they are flying through the water. If you watch your goldfish, you'll see that they open and close their mouths all day and all night. They look as if they're drinking water, but they're not. They're breathing. So when we breathe, we inhale oxygen and it goes into our lungs. And then we exhale carbon dioxide. Exhale is breathing out. And we've talked about that with, with trees. Trees release the oxygen that we breathe in, and we release the carbon dioxide that the trees take in. So we work together um, with trees to help us all be able to breathe. So we also breathe all day and all night too. But we can't breathe underwater the way fish breathe. Fish breathe with their gills, and we breathe with our lungs, which are right here. You breathe in air, and air goes inside your lungs and your body. Your body takes that oxygen you need from the air, and then you breathe out the parts of the air that we don't need, which is the carbon dioxide. 
Fish need oxygen too. There's oxygen in water. There is oxygen in water, just like there's oxygen in air. A goldfish opens its mouth and lets some water in, but the fish closes its mouth and the water flows over the gills inside the body. The fish's body takes the oxygen it needs from the water and passes it over the gills. The water leaves the fish's body through the gill opening. For the goldfish opening and closing its mouth is just like breathing in and out. So see, they've taken the water and then it comes in through their gills and the carbon dioxide goes out, the oxygen comes in. Here's some more types of fish. You have a black goldfish, you have a veal tail goldfish, and you have a comet fish right there. Fish need food just as we do, but they eat underwater at feeding time. Watch your goldfish whip their tails. They race to the top of the bowl, snap at their food, gulp it down. They need only a tiny pinch of fish flakes each day. Good fish flakes are mixtures of ground up flies, fish, shrimp, crabs, oats, corn, carrots, and vitamins. Those don't sound very good. And I bet your parents wish you only needed a tiny pinch of food every day, too. So there they are eating right there. Fish in the wild do not have someone to feed them every day. Many fish eat tiny plants and animals so that they're so small that you need a microscope to see them. Bigger fish feed on worms, crabs, shrimp, and other fish. Usually a big fish can eat a medium-sized fish, and a medium-sized fish can eat a small fish. This is part of what we call the food chain. So here we go. You have an al albacore tuna that's eating an Atlantic mackerel, and that is eating a striped um, ancho anchovy. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so that's called the food chain, and we did learn about that before we left school. Fish are cold blooded. This means their body temperature matches the temperature of the water around them. Be sure to place your goldfish in a spot where the temperature will stay a steady 65 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This, this is the temperature fish need to stay to be healthy. So you are warm blooded. We are warm blooded. And when we are healthy, our body temperature reaches 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And our body stays at that temperature by itself, whether it's hot or cold around us. So if it's 28 degrees outside, we're still 98 degrees. And if it's 101, we're still 98 degrees. Sometimes goldfish swish their tails and zip around a bowl. Other times they look as if they've stopped moving, but they haven't. Their fins are always moving. Even when they rest, fish don't sleep as you do. They rest by moving very, very slowly. Fish's eyes are always open. They have no eyelids, so their eyes stay open even when they rest. Fish don't need eyelids like we do. They don't need tears either. The water keeps their eyes washed. There usually is not enough light underwater to bother the fish's eyes. Be sure not to put your goldfish in the sun because that might be too bright for them. With sleek body, fins, scales, slime, and gills, a fish lives naturally underwater at just like we do on land. Goldfish breathe, eat, and rest in water. They slip over and under their castle and hide among water's plants and glide quietly around their underwater world. So setting up a goldfish bowl. This could be a fun thing for you to do at home. Start with a clean two gallon fish bowl with some water gravel, wash some gravel by running water over it and spread it at the bottom of the bowl. Pour four inches of cold water into the bowl. Place some water plants firmly in the gravel and add a castle and other decorations. Gently pour more water into the widest part of the bowl. The more air surface, the more oxygen will be available for the fish. Let the water sit for one day so that it becomes room temperature. Now you can go to the pet store and get your goldfish 
When you get home, float it in a plastic bag containing the goldfish in the water to let the fish get used to the water temperature. Wait 15 minutes before dumping it in there. So if you do go to the pet store, please be very careful and don't and wash your hands when you leave. Open the bag and let your fish swim out. Your goldfish, like any pet, depends on you to take care of it. It's a good idea to study a fish care guide. That way, you'll know just what to do to keep your goldfish happy and healthy. So, I hope you enjoyed reading what it's like to be a fish. This was a fun book for us to read today. And we're I'm going to attach a video for you to look at some more um Freshwater habitats, and I miss y'all.